All right, all right, all right, we're back. I'm Strategic Sally, and I'm here to bring you all your tips, your tricks, your strategies you need to dominate at mobile gaming. With that being said, let's get into some Clash Royale today on the main account. So, man, I am all hyped up. We got 12 wins in a grand challenge, went 12 and 2 with this destructive, destructive air deck. It's absolutely insane how powerful this deck is it can handle anything you throw at it elite barbs dealt with man we can deal with anything with this deck now you're like strategic so yo how did you come up with this deck man it's wild i would have never thought it was that dominating in a grand challenge or any challenge for that matter well i'll tell you how i did it i didn't big chocolate did Okay, Big Chocolate went 11 and 3, should have gone 12 and 1, but still, he was like, Saul, you gotta try this deck out. Now, I was spectating all the matches, they were insane. We're gonna get into some of his replays, we're gonna get into some of my replays, and then we're gonna open up, for the first time ever on this channel, a 12 win grand challenge chest i freaking love it let's get right into it all right we're cranking this one in two four times speed with you guys this is big chocolate the one and only showing me i remember watching this match live the man's monster he can create a deck and dominate with it i absolutely love it he gave me the opportunity to play his deck after he already tested it out and said so you can get 12 wins i know you can and I believed him, and I did it. The deck is destructive. I watched this one live when he was doing it. It was filthy. His gameplay was filthy. The way he ran the deck, things you gotta understand if you're gonna use the deck. It's dominating. You have to take some risks sometimes to win. And you gotta play a card you wouldn't normally play first. If you're dealt a bad hand, let's get into another one. All right, we're going to crank this one into four times speed. Again, this is the big man himself, Big Chocolate. We love it. This action is real. This this guy has lower level cards. He's got a level six giant. I think those are level eight archers. It's insane, but still, he's a good player, but Big Chocolate plays him better. That's me hyping it up at the bottom with that confetti. I said I was watching it live. Things you got to understand about this deck, though, like I said, if, you, if you're dealt a bad hand, you have to realize what you can and can't afford to lose. So, for example, you don't want to start with the Tombstone. Having the fact that you only have two land troops, the Skeleton Army and the Tombstone, those are two invaluable cards in case anything comes your way. Let's get into another one. Another great, great replay in 4 times speed from Big Chocolate, then we'll get into some of my own. But like I was saying, the Tombstone and the Skeleton Army are your only two land troops, okay? So you have to use them differently than you normally would because of the fact your deck is mostly air. It's, it's something you need to take into serious consideration because the Tombstone and the Skeleton Army are easy to take out, but if you play them right, they are absolutely devastating to anything coming in their path. So that's why you got to hold on to them, wait a little bit longer before you play them again, or even show that, show the other opponent that you even have those cards. But he's going against thing 3, 169 left on his left tower, he fireballs it down, it's absolutely insane. Let's get into some of my replays. Alright, this is a good one to start it off with, gonna put it in 4 times speed, I want to show you guys a lot of content from this challenge because I want you to understand the deck. I want you to see that it can handle anything that's thrown its way if done properly. Now when I saw he's got the Electro Wizard, I realized he's a good player. He got to 12 wins before. Not only that, this is gonna be a good deck because this is most likely the deck that he got the 12 wins with. So a strong deck against a strong player is not to be taken, you know, without going some extra precautions when you're pushing towards his towers now look at that lava hum balloon takes it 20 seconds left he's got th i gotta pause it for you guys look at that 328 328 on my king tower he is getting insanely cocky and saying i'm gonna take it with fireball zap well listen buddy i'm not gonna let it happen okay let's get back into the action and as you can see i take his left tower down with 31 hit points left on my king tower. Don't get cocky or you're going to get smacked the F up. Let's get into another one. 
This one was actually a lot of fun. I had I enjoyed going against this person. In the beginning, we both Lava Hound Balloon Push opposite lanes. I think that's pretty hysterical. Obviously, I come out on top of it. I take his tower down. Unfortunately, he cannot take my tower down, but it is fortunate for me. But like I said, it was it was fun just to both go opposite lanes with the same thing and see who would take it. Now, the reason I probably took his tower I had the minions along with mine. He dropped an early tombstone. Like I said, don't drop a tombstone because it's going to come back and hurt you because the tombstone is very strong. It's your only defense. It's one of your only land troops. This guy's pretty much rocking the same deck as me. I'm just playing it a whole lot better. You guys obviously knew that already though. Sure enough, I take him for the 2-1 to one win. Let's get into another one. This one was a tougher match, definitely a strong player, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Especially, I wanted to show you guys this because it features the Elite Barbarians. And the Elite Barbarians is an insanely strong and hard to deal with card in this current meta. But look at that balloon push! Oh my goodness, it's insane! And see, there comes the tombstone. I got my minions taking out the Elite Barbs with the Ice Golem. He fireballed somewhere in there. Or maybe I did. I think I did. He's got a giant bomber, ice golem coming down my lane. I deal with a bomber from behind with the minions. He's got elite barbs. They take my tower down. But now I had another balloon, a lava hound, minions, mega minions, fireball for the musketeer, another balloon. The death damage takes it for the dub. I absolutely love it. Let's get into another one. All right, I'm going to show you guys three more matches. We're going to crank them into four times speed. Now, you have to realize this at this point in the in the challenge I am right now nine and two okay I'm nine and two these matches are for it if I lose it's over okay you gotta play with some calculated risk as you could see by that first push on the right hand lane I dropped a balloon zap to take the tower you're not always gonna do that okay it's it's a tough situation to be put in to have to use the balloon zap and count on it okay but you know what if you can pull it off properly and calculate that risk and let it pay off it's gonna be worth your while I mean really though it, this was an insanely tough match it goes into a four long haul he's using a solid balloon deck instead of the lava hound he's got the ice golem which is a five elixir less tank then the Lava Hound, yes it does less than the Lava Hound, but still, it's cheaper, he can cycle it faster, especially in overtime. This was a tight, tight match, but I take it for the dub. Let's get into the 11th match. Alright, we're back in the playhouse, going against Gabriel. This one was going to be a tough one, I knew it right away. I don't like it when people say good luck in the beginning. For some reason, it messes with me, and, and in the past, I've lost. Not all the time, I'd say more than usual when someone says good luck to me, I I lean towards the fence of losing. Let's crank it into four times speed, like I said again. So now I'm 10-2 and two in this challenge. This would be my 11th win, which I, obviously you guys already know I pull off. This was a tough, tough match, especially with the pump, the elite barbarians, and the golem. Golems, he's got golem ice golem. The pump is tough with this deck. You have to realize when to fireball and when not to fireball. I do not fireball that back left pump because I realize I need that four elixir in case. Now I take his tower down, he takes mine down. He drops another pump, but now I have Lava Hound Balloon and I'm on top, okay? Sometimes you don't deal with the pump. Sometimes you have to. Let's get into that 12th win. Right, we're in Frozen Peak. Not my favorite place to play, not my least favorite place to play. We're going to put this one into two times speed. This is the 12th win. This was a very interesting match. He's got the mirror, he's got the goblin barrel. I have to realize when to use my zap, when to use my fireball, when to use my skeleton army. Okay, he's got the minion horde. The Skeleton Army, the Princess, the Mirror, the Goblin Barrel. All of these would be great to not be going against. Let alone all of them together with the Mirror. The Furnace is a very strong card. You guys already know that from watching my videos. It's my favorite defense in the game. Okay, now, he drops another Goblin Barrel. 
okay that goblin barrel does a lot of damage he's got the princess coming down i realize i need to deal with that princess some way somehow and i don't have a lot to do it i drop a balloon skeleton army split it up he mirrors it very strong play by him i drop minions to the left to take out that princess and the balloon got rid of the furnace so it wasn't a complete waste because the furnace does a lot of damage i zap those and drop a mega minion for his minion horde he drops another princess i believe i fireball it yes i do Lava Hound Minions Balloon come in, zap against Minion Horde while you have your own minions is very strong. They will get taken out. Fireball down that tower. He drops some crying faces. I say good game. That was my 12th win. I freaking love it. Let's open up this chest. Before we open up that chest, like I said, challenge streak. I just got that 12 win. So basically, that was a free 12 win challenge. I absolutely love it. Now, one more thing before we open up that chest. Another shout out to Big Chocolate for creating this deck. I absolutely love it. This is the deck I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys give it a go. Rewatch this video if that's what you need to do. Focus on strictly the gameplay and just listen to me commentate it okay this is a very strong deck i know you guys can get 12 wins with it hopefully you have the lava hound it only features one legendary it is insanely strong oh my i can't stress it enough all right now let's get into that chest opening all right so this is the chest we are very excited for 22,000 gold 1100 cards 11 epics 110 rares minimum guaranteed it's absolutely insane and we got refunded the cost of the gems because we won that achievement i'm super excited to do it here with you guys let's get right into it oh my god such value for that 100 gems 22,000 needed gold 13 more cards 53 ice spirits 59 Tesla, 63 cannons, 1 tornado, 10 more epics, 10, 1, 0, 1, 0, and maybe, just maybe, we can pop a legendary live with you guys, 106 unneeded mortars, 149 elite barbarians, 155 bombers, 24 three musketeers, that should be all the comments, now let's get rares, okay, 32 barb huts, Alright, oh, we're not getting to get a legendary tough, but still a great chest opening. 54 ice golems and 10 princes. Not bad, not the best chest. There's the summary for you guys. Still a super, super fun and valuable chest to open. Wish we could have popped a legendary, but honestly, the gold alone was worth it for the 100 gems and the 12 wins. We're going to start another one. I absolutely love it. With that being said, guys, all my social media handles are right there. Boom, 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 boom. Links are down in the description. Check them out. And as always, thank you for watching. Subscribe down below. And I'll catch you all in the next episode.